some point, everyone wishes something about their life was different. Many times, the things we would like to change are not within our control. We use the words, I wish, I want, and I should. All of those words have no value. Many times, we submit ourselves to addiction, succumb to the vice-like grip of a controlled substance or behavior. Our peers tell us we should do something, that we wish we could do something, that we want to do something, and in the end, we do nothing. How do we make things different? How do we stop wishing and wanting and start acting and doing? When will the time come when the holds we have placed on our own lives is lifted and the ancient wisdom that links all things finds its voice inside us? Those that feel they have fell victim to a life of false promise have reasoned well in self-pity. We are surrounded by dysfunction and malfunction. We live lives where the default setting is negative and the silver lining has grown tarnished. How do we bring the shine back into our world? Where do we begin our journey? The great Western dilemma is that we have begun to live superficial lives focused solely on the material and not enough on what is real. We have become artificial and processed in our sentiment and thus rotten and malnourished in our hearts. We don't see each other as reflections of our own intentions because we simply don't see each other at all. I challenge my fellow man to stand up, to stop using valueless words in a growth-based world and embrace the art of becoming, to see that we are all part of one conscious effort to express beauty, to decide that we will elevate our place in the world and act as though we are truly part of a greater whole. I challenge my fellow man to become, to become more human than opposable thumbs in the concept of oneself. I challenge you to visualize, Visualize the you that exists in others. Visualize the you that exists in you. Visualize the beauty that exists in all of us. Elevate.